Hello, this is Arun Krishnamurti from the Environmentalist Foundation of India, EFI. The COVID lockdown has finally given us time to think about several issues which we otherwise do not consider important. Environment is one of them. Although each of us is concerned and connected by the environment, we spare very little time in our daily lives to think about all the planetary activities going around us. The impact we have on the planet and its dependent lives is something we should probably take more interest in. We are going to discuss in detail and length of three W's and it's not the World Wide Web. We are going to talk about waste, water and wildlife. And what should you and I be doing to ensure that we are responsible citizens? The first or the simplest of the three W's or the one with which we have most impact on is waste. The amount of non-degradable solid waste that you and I generate on a given day, that needs to be accounted for. Just because there's an open dustbin into which we could throw all our trash and because that trash can be emptied into a larger dumpster, which then gets emptied into a landfill, probably we do not care about the amount of non-degradable items that we use and throw every single day. I wish to introduce to you a word called leachate. In common man term, leachate, which is L-E-A-C-H-A-T-E, is simple. It's nothing but a chemical concussion that arises from dumped waste. Usually this is in a lake, pond, river, marsh, if nothing, an ocean is where we dump all our waste. When this happens in a territorial region where we dump all our waste with rainwater or groundwater reacting to it, leachate is born a chemical concussion which is carcinogenic which has the uh, which has the ability to cause cancer to human beings and more every single battery every single plastic straw or plastic spoon plastic wrapper or any non-degradable item including a tire and a thermocol that you and i have used and thrown and which is today sitting as a mound or a mountain heap of garbage in one of our cities is actually producing this leachate. And we assume that this problem is not ours because the garbage dump is far away from my city in Bangalore, is far away from my residence in Chennai. Why do I care? Because groundwater does move and the leachate would move with this groundwater. Studies prove that groundwater contamination with toxic elements is one reason why there are so many health impacts that you and I are facing today. Can we be responsible with our waste? Definitely. Refusing is the easiest way out. We are requesting all those who are watching this video, please unlisten until you are 100% sure that there is recycling happening. Do not believe in recycling and assume that there is recycling and keep accumulating more plastic waste. Unless and until you are 100% sure that your non-degradable item is getting recycled to the last bit, which may not even be possible in some cases, kindly refuse these items. Aren't there alternatives? There are extremely easily available nature-based alternatives which are far more healthy in comparison to these uh, synthetic materials that we keep using. Simple law techniques such as do-it-yourself activities which could range from an eco-brick. Immediately open another tab on YouTube and search for what an eco-brick is. An empty plastic bottle into which you keep collecting your plastic wrappers, polythene wrappers and more. And when the bottle is full, firm enough to be a brick, you make more bricks. And with these plastic bottle dumped with plastic waste bricks, one could make walls to stools to tables and more we're using one in our own office and we're trying to collect all the plastic that's dumped on us although you and i might refuse every single polythene or non-degradable there are chances that we are forced we are dumped with certain packaging material we are dumped with certain plastic we can't give away with so this plastic can be reused repurposed or upcycled all of this is something which you all know then why is it that less than less than 4% of India uh, participates in all these activities. When are we going to convince the remaining 96%? Isn't this lockdown a good opportunity? We are grooming ourselves, we are cutting our own hair at home, we are looking at new cooking techniques and we are all doing all of that. 
and isn't taking care of our waste also a self grooming effort the birds which are chirping just above me agree to this that's exactly what we are requesting you to do first please refuse next if you're dumped with plastic try to reuse upcycle and see what you can do with that waste and probably we'll even end up abandoning brands which are dumping us with all these non degradable items because we can't just keep upcycling and reusing second is with regards to water how much water are we using for what purpose am i using fresh drinking water quality water to flush down my toilet drain am i wasting water to wash my cars and more is there a bore well in my building which is constantly sucking to the last drop from the ground below these are things which we need to sensitize ourselves about if one of you is now telling me oh, arun this is not for the common man this cannot be ex- expected from all of us who have so busy with our jobs and more i i kind of disagree we are doubting our own intellect we assume that we are not smart enough to take care of our own selves and our planet despite a busy life it's not true we very easily can and there is no active healthy living if we are going to degrade our planet at the rate at which we're doing today see if there can be certain degree of replumbing that can be done at your homes to recycle water see if we can make way with all the chemical detergents that we use there are easy options available again from nature based from shredded vegetable waste and more there are people who are making sanitizers people who are making detergents people who are making floor cleaners and we've tried them on our own self and this plant that i'm sitting next to one of the citrus plants actually has such good qualities that we can use as an alternative to all those chemical products that we are using today in our life and by using all these chemical products from using to wash our hair to body to vessels to clothes we are dumping that much more chemicals through our liquid waste into our rivers into our lakes into our ponds yes it is the government's job to recycle to treat this water no denying that but can we not keep adding this toxic elements into our streams and can we not become a lot more responsible and can we ensure that there isn't a chemical exhaust from my house that's easy said than done i completely understand but little efforts and small steps can begin during this lockdown where we focus on our own selves the last is the wildlife our cities are blessed with botanical and zoological life it's just that for us it looks like only the tiger the lions and the elephants matter at least hypocritically not that we are doing anything to protect those animals but we forgetting the common mina the sparrows the garden lizards the butterflies and so many other lives that dominate our urban landscape can we become sensitive and sensitize our own selves with regards to these animals that live around us a humble request through this video is can you start looking at how much waste you're generating what you're doing with that waste what water are you using for what purpose and how can you prevent from contaminating water bodies and when we do this there is a definite positive impact on the wildlife with whom we share this planet we are called human beings and it's a request to search for the human in every being become that somebody for india's environment you do not have to be an environmentalist to do all this a simple human attitude is all that it takes to think about our impact on nature words that we would request you to go back and search for one is leachate second is anthropocene and third we're going to la- largely request you to search for birds of your city frogs of your city snakes of your city and if one of you have finds a lot more interesting material on all of this and you can click photos make videos start writing talking about these animals probably we should popularize our animals and our nature our politicians and movie stars are popular enough let's not keep resharing their content let's look at creating new stars and let's create new nature stars and this corona lockdown should be a rebirth to all of us otherwise you and i are reading news where the rivers have become clean the air has become clean and all the animals are returning to enjoy the landscape and if you and i are happy reading all that news 
probably we'll even take the next step to see how we could sustain the natural wonders that we are witnessing around us the lockdown when the lockdown ends it should not be the end to all this glorious wonderful days of nature living and it should not go back to those polluting wrath that we were living which we call life thank you for patiently watching volunteer for india and her environment jai hind